Welcome back. We welcome to our program today Dr. Melanie Blake. She is clinical director of the Academic Internal Medicine Practice at Erlanger. And today we're going to talk on prevention using the acronym PREVENT. If we can see that on the screen, folks. PREVENT stands for prayer, read, eat right, visit your doctor, exercise, nap, talk to friends and family. That's all important how? What, what have you learned from this, or from instituting this, I should say? Well, instituting it's fairly easy, actually. One of the things that I, um, that I noticed is people just say that they don't have time to take care of themselves. Yeah. And so I started... I'm too busy. Too I'm much too to busy. do. And, mm -hmm. So I started putting some numbers to that, and there's 168 hours in a week. And I tell people, you know, surely you can find eight hours to devote to yourself. And then, and then it comes time to say, well, what am I going to do during those hours? Well, when you look at it, if you can do these things mentioned in this PREVENT acronym, mm -hmm. then you've, you've taken care of yourself pretty well. You've addressed your physical, mental, wow. spiritual, and emotional needs, at least at a basic level, and hopefully combining those will help you take the steps to improve your health dramatically. Yeah. It seems rather simple. It is. It should be. <laughs> but but I would imagine there's some people who go, oh, doctor, you're, you're, you're that surely not. And, but you know better. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is good. You know, I, I can understand some of these, like talk mm -hmm. to family or friends, talk to your doctor, exercise. Those make sense. Uh, 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 reading. That's reading. an interesting one now. Yes, actually. Um, and to expand a little on that, I mean, read or stimulate your mind in some way. It can be doing crossword oh. puzzles. It can be uh, playing a musical instrument. It can be just basically any type of mental stimulation. And the evidence behind that is that it can prevent your uh, chance of developing dementia by improving what's called cognitive reserve so your ability to process things so that's right. where it, mm -hmm. is, is this something for young people say 10 or 15 years old as well as somebody you know 40 or 60 or i think it's applicable to everyone so i think everyone has some level of stress in their life that they could address through prayer or meditation everyone needs intellectual stimulation yeah. it would be great to eat right you know if we could start that at a young age that's obviously ideal visiting your doctor that starts at at birth <laughs> yeah. and carries on and then um exercise exercising 30 minutes a day most days of the week for adults is is a great starting point yeah. nap i actually mean sleep sleeping seven <laughs> hours a night or more for adults and of course more for children <laughs> i know <laughs> that's what's recommended hmm. and then time with friends and family is is necessary for everyone as yeah. well that is most interesting because i'm sure there are people who think Oh, come on, that won't work. But again, if you try something, you may be surprised, right? Right. I ask people for a one-month commitment. If they will just try it for about a month and see if they feel better. Maybe they keep a food journal to address what they're eating. Mm -hmm. Maybe they actually write down what they do with their time to see where it goes. That helps people recognize what's going wrong here. And then, of course, if they'll take that to their doctor and say, how can I make this better? Yeah. What can I do? Then generally they do feel better. You know, it seems to me that in the last uh, two to five years, there's been more of a focus on preventing uh, than, than anything else. Absolutely. If you're proactive about your health rather than reactive, you save yourself a lot of time and trouble. Plain and simple. Plain yes, and simple. And if folks, if you need more information on this, for instance, you can contact Erlanger's uh, Health Link line, which is at 423-778-LINK, uh, or you can go to their website also, which is uh, erlanger.org, and get all the information you need. Come back and see us. Yes, sir. Thank you. We join Mr. Food now in the kitchen. You know why? He's going to, well, he promises. You remember what he promised yesterday? Well, today he's going to promise rice souffle. Let's see. <laughs> 